Welcome everyone to Inserato Studio. Today's episode is how do I use stutter and breaker effects? What is up, Gaunt here? Today we're talking about using the breaker and stutter effect. And those can be very useful when it comes to just adding a bit of a transitional effect to your next scene or just a way of doing a really cool effect in the middle of a section. So the way to get to those effects is you go to this drop down panel right here, go to auto fader, and then you have stutter fader. And then to get to breaker from the top, you go to breaker and then there's your breaker effect. So for this example, we're going to use the stolen drums audio sample pack. So the sample that we're using is the speakeasy loop seven. And it sounds like this. So that's what it is by itself. Now I'm going to apply the stutter fader at 100%. So right now we have it at 100%, but we don't have it active. When you hear it, when I turn on the effect, you're going to hear it almost like if you were scratching or DJing on the turntable and you were hitting the fader really fast, you're doing like, it sounds like a lot of transforms going on. So here we go. Like crazy transforms. But that's doing it at one half. So you can always change the ratio to whatever. So I'm going to do it to one fourth. One eighth or one sixth. One eighth. One sixteenth. So if I progressively go the other way, see how the stutter effect isn't as crazy? It's almost like another way of doing like sidechain, actually. So we could get back to half. So that's that. I know it can sound really crazy, um, that, but that's the stutter fader. And again, you can always adjust how much of that ratio of full effect to the amount of wet dry that you're getting with this fader here. So now we're gonna go to breaker and what breaker does to the name, it breaks the audio as far as stopping it. It's that kind of like the very classic vinyl stop sound that you hear. So we're gonna again play the sample and then trigger the effect. See how it does like a stop effect? Now if I move it to half, the stop effect's gonna be a little bit longer. Or shorter, I mean, my bad. Even shorter. I'll put this to like eight beats over one. Really, really, really slow breaker effect. That's almost instantaneous, the one thirty second. So again, if you want a really, really long wind down, go to eight over one and hit breaker. So you can do really cool, you can almost use that breaker effect for like an intro where you're playing the original sample. You're playing the original sample and then it just kind of winds down and then you bring in like your new reconstruction of that beat. I'm going to show you examples of how you can apply both those effects in the track. So I'll give you an example here. I'll play you what I made here. So that right there, um, what I did was, see how these are in purple? I did automation on this section here. So I'm gonna loop this, hit the robot so you can see what happened. So if I go to this, this one right here means you're controlling this entire, um, 
like the main track of this as opposed to each individual uh, sample chop. So right now, effect two is the breaker and I'm telling it to turn on at this moment right here and then deactivate here. So let me try to solo this real quick so you can hear exactly what's happening. See how it comes back? And then also you hear the stutter fader. So if I click on here, this is the automation I made for the stutter fader. So whenever bar four hits, I turn this stutter fader effect on and it does the stutter for a while, then it stops. Because I'm wanting to have the breaker effect take over. So again, I'll play it in context with the beat. So you can use this really well for transitions going from am amplifying the next portion right there. So again, I'll play it again. With the beat. Now I'm introducing the bass, the bass line. Go to the next section. So um, this is another technique that you can do. Um, I really like implementing these vocal um, chops or little Vox samples before I go to another section. So with this here as well, I did a breaker effect right here in this part. And it's one of those you just kind of have to mess around and see exactly what time the breaker effect ends to really drive in the next sample that you're trying to play or the next little effect leading into your next uh, section. So I'm going to solo this or loop this. Yeah. So with this, I did the breaker effect for this sample as well as the entire drum track as well. I did a stutter fade on the drums as well. So breaker, have that on here and double check stutter fader, which I didn't on there. Never mind. <laughs> but I did use a breaker effect. It tells me right there. So, you know, I make mistakes as well. So go here, we have a breaker effect on there. And then what I did was, this was in the Fool's Gold kit, the Yeah Todd. I did stutter fader on that sample as well as just add an echo to it. So it just gives a little bit more, uh, a little bit more sauce to the sample. So let me go back to four and loop it. Yeah. If I take these both off, sounds like this. Yeah. yeah. Which doesn't sound bad, but I have a different feel for the beat, so that's why I kind of went with going with this style here. Yeah. So back to playing the entire thing. Yeah. And again, that's how you use stutter fader and the breaker effect. Again, those are really good effects that will help you in doing transitions and cool little techniques as far as when you mute things and then bring those in. Again, this is Gons. Have fun, be creative, peace. And don't forget to download your free trial of Serato Studio by going to serato.com slash studio and free download. Give it a shot. You won't regret it. Peace.